Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can change the ratio of the video block in your Squarespace website. Currently, the video block is set up to show up longer horizontally than it is vertically. But as you know, a lot more video content these days is longer vertically than it is horizontally and it shows up in other sizes as well. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the ratio of that individual video block so it looks perfect for the video that you've uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention I'm using version 7.1, but this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace. I also want to mention that this is specifically for videos that are uploaded directly to Squarespace in the video block. Vimeo links will automatically resize, and YouTube video links will always be displayed at 16 to 9. So when you hop into edit mode and you add a video block, like I have right here, Make sure that when you upload your video, you're selecting this option right here to upload a file. I've already uploaded this video, a little animation of Gus the pineapple going back and forth. That's what we're gonna use in this tutorial. Now let's add some code to make sure that the actual outline of this block fits the video, which is set to a nine by 16 ratio. I'll select done, and we're going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now I'll scoot the screen down a little bit so we can see what we're working with. And all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. The selector we can use for videos is .video-block.video-player. Now I'll open up a curly bracket, and just so we can see what we're working with, I'm going to add a border to this video. 5px solid red. Now we can see the video has an outline. Now what we're going to do to change the ratio is actually add some padding to the bottom of this video. I'm going to say padding bottom 120%. And now the block is going to shift and it looks like Gus is being resized pretty well, but we still have some space at the top and bottom. 120 might not be the right fit. Let's go ahead and try 118. Not quite. How about 115? There we go. That looks great. Feel free to resize that however you see fit. My border is kind of getting in the way here. I'll go ahead and remove that and we'll knock this back up to 120. And there we go. What I want you to notice when I select 115, I can still see a little bit of the shadow of the video player going over the white space around the edge of the video. I want to have that flush with the video. So I think 120 is the right percentage for this particular video. And again, this code is in the description below. Now, before we call this tutorial a wrap, I do want to mention you might have more than one video on your Squarespace website. And if that's the case, you won't want to change the ratio of every video. This one right here is a 16 by 9 ratio. This one here is a 9 by 16. So how do we make sure that this video doesn't change, but this one does? We can use its block ID. I'm going to click on a Chrome extension I have. This is a free Chrome extension. I'm not affiliated, just a fan. And I'm going to grab the block ID for this video of Gus the Pineapple. And at the very beginning of my code, I'm going to paste that block ID. And now you'll notice that this video is in the right ratio. This video is in its original. Let's go ahead and give this a border so we can see the difference here. I'll say border 5px solid red. And now that video has a red outline. This video does not because we isolated it with the block ID. After you've made all the changes you want to see, go ahead and select save and you'll be good to go. The code we just used is listed in the description below just to make sure you update those values so it matches the ratio for your own video. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.